This Awan of Air meditation is used to seek the Awan in matters associated with prosperity and vitality in your life. It is helpful when you seek a season of new growth and new vigor. The direction of the air is east. It may help when performing this meditation to face eastward if possible. This meditation is especially powerful if done while facing the rising sun. The season associated with the Awan of the Air is the spring. As you begin this meditation, visualize the sunrise on the first day of spring. As you inhale, your breath is becoming the yellow light of the sun. Each inhaled breath draws more of the sun's life-giving energy into your body. Take a few deep breaths. With your mind's eye, watch the energy of your breath spread throughout your body. As you continue to breathe, picture yourself sitting on a mountainside. The mountain is covered with the first flowers of spring. You can smell their fragrance on the breeze. It is dawn and the dew is on the grass. Feel the cool dew against your skin becoming warmer as the sun rises before you. The Awan of the air is the Awan of taking action. As you breathe in the warm spring air on this hillside, what action do you need to take in your life to bring about new growth and new direction? The Awan of the Air is the Awan of personal truths and subjective meanings. As you allow the inspiration of the Awan of the Air into your consciousness, ponder your own personal truths. Is there any room for growth in your knowledge and wisdom? What seeds would need to be planted in order for you to achieve greater vitality? and prosperity in your life. Which seeds might need to be pulled from your garden of mind so that the Awan of the air might plant new seeds and new fruits? The Awan of the Air is the Awan of the Farmer. Allow its inspiration to till the soil of your mind so that it may plant new ideas, new beliefs, new wisdom, and new inspiration deep in the soil of your consciousness so that you may reap a bountiful harvest when the time comes. What is the harvest that you seek? How can the Awan of Air plant the seeds of this harvest in your mind?
What will you do to till the soil and work the land? How will you feed and water the new seeds of wisdom? The farmer gently and lovingly labors in her fields tending her crops until the harvest. How might the way of the farmer help you to cultivate the change you wish to see in your life? Nua of the Silver Hand rules the Awan of Air. Nua was once the king of the Tua de Danan, or the fairy people. When he fought the Firbolg at the first battle of Mag Turith, his hand was severed from his body. According to Brian Law, a king must be without blemish so this wound disqualified him from the office of ruler of the children of Danu. Dian Keet, the god of healing, fashioned a hand of silver to replace the one Nua lost. With his new silver hand, he was eventually able to regain his kingship, and henceforth he was known as Nua of the Silver Hand. Although Nua had many adventures, he eventually relinquished his throne to the sun god Lu. In what ways have you abdicated rule over your own life? How might the Awan of Air help you to restore you to your rightful place? What is your silver hand? What has been cut away from you to be replaced by the God of Healing? How will this replacement help you to achieve new growth and new vigor in your own life? Danu's gift from the Awan of the Air is the Sword of Nua. It is a symbol of masculine power and energy. No one ever escaped this sword once it was drawn, and no one could resist its power. What is your Sword of Nua? What irresistible power can the Awan of Air bring to you? What wisdom do you possess that others cannot escape? What masculine energies are influencing your life right now? What is your relationship to them?
Are you at peace or at war with these energies? How might your relationship to these energies change for the better? How might this sword of wisdom aid you in your quest for prosperity and vitality? As this meditation draws to a close, thank Danyu, thank Nua, and thank Lu for the sword of wisdom they have bestowed upon you during this meditation. When you are ready, open your eyes and know that you have planted a seed today that will come to fruition in the harvest when the masculine energy of the sun and the feminine energy of the earth are in balance with the awan of air.